Hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel Vagai Academy of Mathematics. Today this session we have an interesting question from CAT 2022 under mensuration. So let us see the question we have with us. The length of each side of an equilateral triangle ABC is going to be 3 cm. So there is an equilateral triangle. So we know that equilateral triangle all the sides will be equal is it or not. So this triangle is going to be ABC and the sides are 3 cm each. So that's what they gave here. So let's note it. So 3, 3 and this base is also 3. Okay. Yes. Fine. Let D be a point on BC such that the area of the triangle ADC is half the area of the triangle ABD. Now there's a point D that is lying in the side BC. Okay. Yes. And how is the D? The D is in such a way that it is going to divide the area of this triangle in a particular way. Now what is the condition? Read it, read it very carefully. The area, okay, it is going to be in such a way that the area of triangle ADC, okay, the triangle ADC, ADC is going to be half the area of the triangle ABD. So this is going to be the condition. So that way the point D is situated in BC. Okay, yes, fine. Now, what else we need to find? Then find the length of AD. So, this is going to be the question. Okay, yes. Now, let us be clear with all the setup here. Then we can just think about how the D can be situated. Yes. Now, basically, this is a triangle. I have drawn the height of this triangle in prior itself. This line AP, what you see here, that stands for the height of this triangle. Okay, yes, fine. I marked it to be H. Now let us just think about that D, point D. And how should be the D? It should be in such a way that this triangle, okay, I mean A, A, D, C. I mean the triangle that you will be seeing on the right hand side. A and then D, D comes somewhere here. C, that should be half the area of the triangle of A, B, D, the left hand side triangle, okay, yes. So that way you have this point. So that means, that means how should be the... Uh, area if it, if it should be divided in the ratio what is the ratio here so the ratio should be basically two parts here and one part there that is how it should be right because right hand side area should be half of the left hand side portion then in that case what happens is the ratio should be 2 is to 1 now the idea is going to be very simple now once the height is going to be uniform here then what we can tell about the two pieces is going to be, it will divide the bases also in the same ratio, 2 is to 1. That's a very simple idea. Okay, yes. Now, let me just put it the construction here. So, how should be the basis? Our full basis 3 centimeter. That is very clear from the question itself. Now, we have to mark the point D in such a way that, let me mark the point D here. This D should be in such a way that, how it should be? That means it should be like, this is going to be and this is going to be. BD and DC that distances okay I mean BD BD and DC this distance is going to be in the ratio 2 is to 1 now logically you just see now now what happens is when you try to join the line AD now you try to join the line AD now how will be this AD now this AD will be in such a way that such a way that this line AD will divide the triangles area in the ratio of 2 is to 1 that's a simple idea okay now you read the statement again this area should be half of this area. That's all. The idea is going to be very simple. Why? Because the area's value itself, okay, half into this base into this height and half into this base into this height. Now, what can I tell? Since the base is going to be double here, the area will also be double. That's a simple logic behind this construction, okay. Now, we are clear with the line AD also how it is formed. Now, let us think about the measure here. It's going to be very simple. The total length of BC is going to be 3 centimeter. Now, if I split that entire 3 centimeter as in the ratio 2 is to 1, I will be getting what? I will be exactly getting BD is equal to, remember here, BD is equal to 2 centimeter and I will be getting DC is equal to 1 centimeter. I hope this idea is also clear to you now, okay? Just divide this 3 in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, I get 2 centimeter here, 1 centimeter here. Fine, okay, all right. <clears throat> now, next is, let us think about the point P also. Now, what is this point? <clears throat> that P is going to be the foot of the height perpendicular. Now, since this is an equilateral triangle, what we can clearly tell here is this line height will, 
exactly bisect your base into two equal parts. That's a very simple idea. So in that case, I can clearly tell this BP and PC. Okay, I'm telling about BP and PC. They both will be equal. Now, what will be each of them? Each of them will be exactly half of 3. That means BP will also be, BP will also be, uh, uh, it will be 1.5 and PC will also be 1.5. I'll write it here itself, 1.5 centimeter. Each of them is going to be 1.5 centimeter. I hope that is also clear to you. 3 by 2 is going to be 1.5 and 1.5. Yeah, fine. Yes. Now, next is, let us think about the speedy. Okay. So, let me not take this BP. This is already taken. Now, let's think about what can be PD. What about PD here? PD is again going to be very simple. PD is going to be PC minus DC, right? PC minus this DC. So what about PC minus DC? PC is already, it is going to be 1.5 and DC is going to be 1. So that means this gives you PD is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter. So that means this measure what you see here is going to be 0 0.5 centimeter. Okay, let me note it here itself, 0 0.5. I'm just writing the number alone, 0 0.5. Now what about this height? AP, AP is going to be the height. So, height we all know, height of an equilateral triangle is going to be root 3 by 2a. So, root 3 by 2a means we will be having root 3 by 2 into a is going to be what? It's just going to be uh, 3 only. So, it is going to be 3 root 3 by 2 centimeter. Okay, fine. All right. Height is also done. Now, we are clear with what is speedy and what is height. So, let us just note these two values. Now, once we are clear with these two values, PD, okay, I'll note it here. PD is going to be 0 0.5 centimeter. Now, once we are clear with these two measures, now we can very easily find the value of AD. Why? Because now look at the triangle APD. APD, okay, just look at the triangle, triangle, triangle. APD, APD is again a right angle triangle, is it or not? Because AP is like the height of that triangle also. PD is like the base and AD is... Now, the hypotenuse of our triangle, okay. Now, I can very well use Pythagoras theorem. So, when I use it, I will be getting AD square will be equal to this H square, H square, okay. So, H square, H square will be nothing but, H square will be nothing but. So, once H is uh, this one, 3 root 3 by 2, H square will become what? H square will be nothing but uh, uh, 3 into root 3 by 2, the whole square. So, basically, 3 into root 3, uh, the whole square will be what? It will be 9 threes are 27 divided by 2 square will be 4. So, I will have h square is equal to 27 by 4 plus plus. Now, come here. Here we have PD is going to be, PD is already going to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is like 1 by 2. Now, when you square 1 by 2, I will be getting 1 by 4. So, I will be getting AD square is equal to 27 by 4 plus 1 by 4, which is in turn 28 by 4. So, I will clearly get AD is equal to 7. AD square is equal to 7. Is it not because AD square is equal to 28 by 4 is exactly 7 which means I will finally get AD is equal to square root of 7. So, finally, we got the value of AD. AD is going to be square root of 7, which is ready available at option C. So, option C, root 7, square root of 7 is going to be the answer for this mensuration problem. Such an interesting question we have. Although the question is going to be simple, we need to do some setup, some, some, some kind of uh, completing up here in this question, in this uh, given picture that will help us to do the problem in a very, very easy way. Because conceptually, all these things are going to be very, very easy. It just needs a small construction. Once, once that is done, the way of solving the problem is going to be simply very easy. Okay, yes. So, I hope the steps are clear to you. If any doubts, you can just uh, put it in the comment box. When I see it, I'll see it too. Rectify your doubts. Again, we'll catch up in the next session with some other interesting question. See you soon there. Thank you so much.